In the latter part of the first century, there were two friends who walked through life with similar interests and similar spiritual goals, but with very different backgrounds. We find a man by the name of Jomrin, who was a Hebrew, deeply steeped in Jewish lore and devoted to the worship of Jehovah, the God of all creation. But Parco was from Sparta, raised in the Greek culture. And these two had met when they both worked together as laborers at the harbor of Joppa on the Mediterranean Sea. Parco and Jomrin were together as usual when the message of Jesus Christ confronted them one day through a traveling evangelist. They each had different life experiences to draw upon, but the message rang true in both of their hearts and they became Christians at the same time. They became fast followers of the truth of the gospel of Christ as they listened repeatedly to the teaching of this great evangelist. They knew of the life and death of Jesus and the evidence of his resurrection. They were devoted to his spiritual principles and pondered with each other how to make application of these challenging truths in their lives. The evangelist had spoken of Jesus Christ as a high priest of God's children an image of the Messiah that was not expected among men. Now what Parco knew about priests was minimal at best, and Jomron's knowledge of the high priest was firmly attached to his Jewish heritage. Jomron knew that God himself had established the priesthood of his people when he had redeemed the Israelites from Egyptian slavery. The company of priests from the Jewish tribe of Levi was appointed to be mediators for the common people before God to bring their sacrifices and worship in the way that he instructed and to demonstrate a standard of holiness that is due to God. He had set Aaron, the brother of Moses, as the first high priest. Jomron explained to Parco that the high priest had the honor and the awesome responsibility of being the only person allowed within the holiest part of the tabernacle. The high priest, the ultimate mediator, was to enter into the Holy of Holies just once a year to bring a special offering before God for the sins of the people. This obviously conferred upon the high priest a position of highest honor and respect among those who brought their worship to God. Jomron recounted how the high priest served the people by offering gifts and sacrifices for sins before God. He could deal gently with the ignorant and the misguided because he was beset with weakness himself. And he had to offer sacrifice for his own sins before he could represent the people before God. Then remembering the teaching of this evangelist, Jomron began to better understand how much greater is Jesus Christ as our high priest. Jomron understood the evangelist's point that Jesus didn't elevate himself to this high position, but that he was appointed by God. And although Jesus was not descended from Aaron or even from Levi, still he was sanctified just as Melchizedek was known as a priest before God. That point was especially important to Jomron because the Jewish religion would otherwise reject this whole idea since God himself had declared that high priests would be from the lineage of Aaron. But God, who originally declared the priesthood of Aaron, also declared this change in the priesthood and noted that this was part of the change from the old law to the new dispensation of Christ. Jomron explained to Parco that the high priests through Aaron being limited to this life were regularly replaced when they passed from this life. But Jesus would never be replaced because he lives forever. And while earthly high priests entered into the holy place and made for uh, made with the hands of man this place where God would come and would be and in, in, he would be in the very presence of the high priest, Well, Jesus is now entered into heaven itself and is there in the very presence of God. And he is there as the mediator for us all. Now, whenever we think about 
these two men. We think about the differences in their background. We think about the things that Jomran would have understood and the things that Parco would have understood. We can see where on one hand Jomran would have had an advantage at having a better understanding of the high priest. But also we see that he would have had an advantage in being able to teach others as he did with Parco. And while these men are ones that I have made up simply for the point of illustration, we see that the type of situation that these two faced in my illustration was one that was faced by Christians throughout the Roman Empire. For these were individuals who had a variety of backgrounds, but we find that to each one, regardless of their background, Jesus was their great high priest, just as he is for all Christians today. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program, and may God bless you with a wonderful day.